everybody, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and I'm gonna show you a Dollar Tree DIY here that you will love. You can theme it to any decor or even season or birthday party if you want to. So let me show you what inspired me. Um, but before I do that, let me welcome all of you to my channel tonight. Thank you so much for coming. If you are already a subscriber and part of my YouTube family, thank you so much for always coming, watching my videos, giving me encouragement, encouraging each other. I love that you talk to each other. Also, if you're new, I welcome you and thank you for coming and, and checking out the channel. And I'd love for you to subscribe and be part of my YouTube family. If you've come from uh, another channel, K is for Karen or uh, Rosemary or any of the other channels that have promoted me, I just thank you so much and I appreciate you all. I'm overwhelmed with the love and support. So let's get started. You are absolutely gonna love this Dollar Tree DIY. Um, the reason I call it that is because the main components come from the Dollar Tree. And let me show you what inspired me. Do you ever look at any pictures or catalogs or you're in the store and you say, I can do that, but you're just not quite sure how to get there? Well, that happens to me a lot. And I just happened to be scrolling through my Instagram feed and I ran across this photo hanger. This is so cute, guys. And you can do it with many different things. And this particular one is actually a, uh, an embroidery hoop. And they just created this beautiful thing. So what we're going to do is take a little, uh, you know, inspiration from that. And we're going to use a wire wreath from the Dollar Tree. This is the 14 inch. Some clothespins. Now these are ones I had on hand, but you can use um, the Dollar Tree sells them as well. Some decorative rope. And I'm going to paint my wreath, but you don't have to. You could leave it this uh, dark green or, or even black. This is a black one, I think, color. And that would be okay too. But I have this cool uh, shining chrome paint that is this pretty goldish color. I don't know if it's even gold or you know, like a copper, but I like that and I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna just give this a brief paint. And then you just need some pictures, guys, some family pictures, or if you wanna do this for a birthday, this would be awesome for a birthday and you can just use it um, to display like the birthday person's, you know, history, some family pictures or whatever. So let's get started with this. Okay, in the meantime, we're gonna take the nautical rope and cut this into two, three strips of two feet. That will give us plenty of rope to hang our hoop or our wreath. And I do advise having some kind of hanger. This is like one of those little key rings that you can buy at the Dollar Tree in a pack of 10 or so. This one is the, a little bit larger one. You may not get 10 in that one, but anyway, just something so that you can hang it and go ahead and cut your three, three ropes into two feet strips. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to, I went ahead and put tape around mine because they were wanting to come apart. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two of them, I'll just take these two here, and you're going to tie a knot. So you're just going to tie a knot, just like this. Like you would, um, you know, just any kind of, what kind of knot is this, a square knot, maybe? I don't know. So any of you scouts out there, people that know about knots, go ahead and tie you, yourself a knot like this. Then you're gonna take your, your, hoop, your key ring 
I'll just slide it through. If yours doesn't open like that, then put it between your knots before you tie that big knot, okay? So that's how you can hang it, right? Okay, now we're gonna glue down the pieces that are sticking up, but what we wanna do first is take our other piece of rope and we're going to wrap it around it to give it a finished look. All right, I have my glue gun heating up. So I'm gonna take my third piece of rope and I'm going to wrap it around the other two just to, um, let me show you. I'm just gonna take it and wrap it around and I'm going to be gluing that down. But I wanna to try to cover up these ends of the other rope. And it's kind of hard to show you, but I'm just gonna glue it down and these ropes will end up being the same. We'll cut them to be the same length after we tie them. So there we go. And I'm just gonna glue that down. And it's kind of hard to see, but it'll give us a nice knot at the top. Okay, after you get your rope in a knot and tied and glued, then you're going to have your three strands and you wanna make sure they're close to the same length so that when you tie them to your wreath, um, they're about the same and you want it to hang properly. I do wanna let you know that I thought I was spraying gold, but I was actually spraying a silver. And so that's okay. I like silver and silver's all over my house. So we'll use that. Okay, I have taken my rope and my hanger and put it on my tri another tripod that I have here. I'll show you just so that I can work with it. Okay, now I'm going to take my wreath and I'm going to tie one rope to one third around. So this has six different bars to mark off the sections. I'm going to do one. And skip two, do three, skip four, do five, and skip six. So there's three, and it kind of lends to that for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tie it to the middle of this one. Let me show you right here. You can see right here. So I'm going to tie it here, and I'm going to tie it over here to this one in the middle, which is kind of hard to see. And then I'm gonna tie it to this one over here. Okay, after you tie your ropes to your wreath, then you're just going to pick the photos that you want. So like I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna put it here. Like that. And then you may consider um, when you have a horizontal or landscape portrait like this, you may use two paper uh, clothespins to hold your photo like this. Okay. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. And then just keep going around until you have the photos that you want on it. I think this would be a great birthday or, um, you know, fun thing to do like that. So I'm going to finish these. And there you go. And you can change these photos out anytime because it's not glued. Or if you do an embroidery hoop, you could glue your clothespins onto the wood and then just change your photos out as you like. You can also decorate this more seasonally or however you want to do it, but I just think this is such a cute gift, and, you know, it's really less than $3 plus your photos. So, really fun gift. Love this Dollar Tree DIY, and ready to hang it up and enjoy all the photos. So, what a unique gift to create and make, and I'm kind of leaning here, but... Just enjoy. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick craft and Dollar Tree DIY. Thanks for watching. Bye.